Congratulations on your receipt of the XLC2 cordless telephone system. In addition to the user guide provided, this training video will help you set up and use your new phone. This video contains a lot of information, so remember to work at your own pace. Feel free to fast forward, pause, or rewind your DVD player at any time. If at any point you find you need additional assistance, please call 1-800 426-3738. You may also reach us by TTY at 1-800-772-2889. Now let's begin. For tabletop installation, find a flat, level surface near a phone jack and wall outlet. Your telephone should arrive pre-assembled. Locate the yellow battery tab labeled Pull, located on the bottom of the base. Pull it straight down in the direction of the arrow. Hold one end of the long phone cord tightly. Simultaneously pull the other end of the phone cord away from the phone, allowing it to unravel. Then plug the other end of the phone cord into the phone jack in the wall. Hold one end of the white power adapter cord tightly. Simultaneously pull the other end of the adapter cord away from the phone, allowing it to unravel. Plug the other end of the AC adapter cord into the standard wall outlet. Locate the yellow handset battery tab labeled Pull, located on the bottom of the handset. Pull it straight down in the direction of the arrow. Place the handset onto the base to charge for 10 hours before your first use. That's it! You're done. Now let's look at the different functions offered on your XLC2 cordless telephone system. To make a call on the XLC2, pick up the handset and press the talk button. This is the large round button located in the top center of the handset. The talk button will glow green when it's in use if the boost button is not activated. Dial the phone number as usual. After you are finished with your call, press the talk button again to hang up. The boost button adds up to 50 decibels of extra amplification over the entire range of volume control. The boost button is located in the top corner of the handset underneath the volume control dial and is labeled with an exclamation point. While on a call, press the boost button to engage additional amplification. When boost is activated, the talk button will glow red. The auto boost switch enables the boost to always remain turned on. To activate auto boost, flip over the base and find the series of switches on the bottom of the base. The auto boost switch is on the left side of the switches. To turn auto boost on, simply turn the switch to the on position. Setting this switch to the on position is recommended if all users of this telephone need additional amplification. You can always turn the boost off by pressing the boost button as necessary. To adjust the volume coming from your handset, roll the volume control dial on the top left side of the handset just above the boost button. You can adjust the volume at any point in the phone conversation. There is the most volume range when boost is turned on. To adjust the tone coming from your handset, make sure that boost is turned on. Adjust the tone control switch on the left side of the handset to the setting that best fits your hearing level. Since each person has different hearing preferences, we recommend exploring each setting to find the one that is most comfortable for you. You can adjust the tone at any point in a phone conversation. Tone 1 is best used to hear low frequency sounds. Tone 2 is best for hearing aid users. Tone 3 is best used to hear high frequency sounds. It makes words clearer and easier to understand. When the phone is ringing, visual ringers are located in the handset earpiece and the base of the telephone.
To receive a phone call on the XLC2, pick up the handset and press the talk button. This is the same round button located in the top center of the handset. After you are finished with your call, press the talk button again to hang up. Adjust the ringer volume on the bass by pressing the up and down buttons located on the right side of the handset cradle. This can be done only when the phone is not in use. If you want to turn the bass ringer off completely, press the button labeled silent just below the volume up and down buttons. The silent button will glow red when the ringer is turned off. You can adjust the ringer volume and style on both the handset and the base of the XLC2. Find the ringer controls located on the right side of the handset. Make sure the ringer switch is set to the on position if you want the handset to ring when there is an incoming phone call. To change the ringer style, flip the base over and find the series of switches on the bottom of the base. The ringer style key is the small round button on the right. Press this button repeatedly to choose between various ringer styles. The Outgoing Speech Amplification function, or OSA for short, amplifies the level of your voice to the person on the other end of the telephone call. To enable the OSA, press and hold the boost button for three seconds. The phone will beep and the talk button will glow orange when OSA is turned on. To turn OSA off, press and hold the boost button for three seconds again and the talk button should no longer glow orange. The XLC2 has two direct one-touch memory locations and ten indirect memory locations. These can be used to program your frequently dialed numbers into your phone. To program a memory location, press the small button labeled MEM for memory located to the right of the talk button. The talk button will blink green during the programming process. Dial the number you wish to store. Press the memory button again, then press the button you wish to store this number into. You can store numbers into the A or B buttons located just above the talk button, or you can store numbers into the 0 through 9 keys on the keypad. It is important not to store 911 into your telephone. This will prevent inadvertently dialing the emergency call center. Only store emergency numbers such as a doctor, hospital, local fire department, or local police station number. To dial a stored number in the A or B locations, you do not have to press the talk button. Simply pick up the handset and press the A or B button. To dial a number stored in the 0 through 9 keys on the keypad, press talk, then the MEM button, then the number key in which the phone number is stored. This will automatically connect you with the phone number you originally stored into these memory locations. Thank you for using this quick start training video for your new XLC2 cordless telephone system. You should now feel ready to use your new phone. Clarity is proud to provide you with a product that will connect you with others through our patented digital Clarity Power technology. We look forward to helping you again in the future. Thank you.